For those of us here in Minnesota who have been up to the Boundary Waters, we know that you go up there thinking you're going to get away from it all. And sometimes it takes a while to get away from it all. You have to paddle quite a ways, keep paddling. You got a portage once, twice, three times. But the further you go, the more you paddle, the sooner or later you really do get to that place of rest, that place of quiet. I'm Pastor Mark Patty. This is Midweek with Mark as we look at the scripture for this upcoming Sunday sermon. And this Sunday, as we begin the Advent season, Pastor Terry Russell will be kicking things off. What passage will you be preaching on this Sunday? Yeah, I'm preaching on 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 1 through 16. This is where the prophet Elijah is fleeing from King Ahab and his wife Jezebel. They've threatened his life. Hmm. And he's afraid. And so he runs to the wilderness. And, going further and further out. <laughs> yeah, he's exhausted and he runs and and really ultimately needs to hear a word from God mm, to refresh yeah. himself. I love the way you put that, needing to hear a word from God that yeah. refreshes him. What, where does he finally hear that? How does that yeah. happen and how does that speak to you? Yeah, he spends quite a, quite a bit of time, 40 days and 40 nights, and he's wandering. He ends up at Mount Horeb. And, and God presents himself in so many ways incredible ways to Elijah at this point through wind and through earthquake and through fire and then eventually through the sound of silence. It says in verse 12, after the fire, a sound of sheer silence. And when Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. And then there came a voice to him that said, what are you doing here, Elijah? A good reminder, I think, that our lives can get very chaotic, that we can have a lot of things that overwhelm us. And eventually we need to be able to hear the voice of God and really to turn down the noise, turn off the things around us so that we can hear God's voice clearly. Yeah. And, and just making room for that. Oh, that's it's such beautiful. an important part of our yeah. faith lives. So. Oh, it's worth the effort. Like you might have to paddle a ways. Yeah. It's worth that effort to get to that point of quiet, whether it's the stuff around us that's threatening or even within us yeah. that's swirling to pray for God's help to get still. And hear his voice. Yeah. Well, I look forward to Sunday's sermon and uh, let's pray together. God, we thank you that you are a God who speaks to us, who comes to us out in the wilderness, who uh, meets with us. We pray, that, God, that you would help us to quiet ourselves, to be still before you, that you would grant us ears that are open to the word of refreshment, renewal, guidance that you have for us. Thank you so much for Terry. Bless her as she continues preparing for Sunday. And God, for all of us, this Thanksgiving week, this week as we start Advent on Sunday, may we welcome you and give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you. And God bless you as you continue to prepare. <laughs>